Alright guys, welcome back. I wish that this was a chemistry video, but it's actually not. Um, I'm actually doing a video on a problem that I have with my computer. Well, as all of you know, I run Ubuntu, which is, you know, a flavor of Linux. And uh, I turned on the machine, and all of a sudden, it would not boot. It was as though the operating system had crashed, or the hard drive had died. And uh, I decided to take the hard drive out of the computer. Well, I took the hard drive out of the computer, and I put in a new hard drive, and I reloaded uh, the operating system and started from scratch. And then I was like, well, there are files I need to get off of the uh, the drive. So I said, I'm going to try to load the drive. Well, I put it in an external uh, housing, and uh, using USB, I tried to mount the uh, hard drive so I could pull the files off of it, or which ones I could. Well, when I tried that, I got this, I got this strange uh, error message. D bus error, da 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 failed an operation is already pending from where I mounted it. I thought it didn't mount, so I re-clicked to mount, and then it kept throwing this error. Well, I really needed those files off of that, uh, that hard drive and I thought the hard drive had crashed and everything so I thought I could still access the files well I could not even click on it because it was it was I was totally locked out I couldn't I could not stick it in a Windows computer I tried that I couldn't get to the files or anything and I read online read online read online where I could actually make the drive readable again and uh, finally I, I read over some things and I tried some different software uh, packages and everything from the repositories from the uh, software center and well, nothing was working for me and finally I remembered that uh, I could possibly use Gparted. Now let me show you. Okay, I've got the uh, the hard drive in my hand right now. I'm going to get ready to hook it up to uh, my external and then plug it in through USB. So let me do that real quick. That way you can see that this thing mounts. Okay. Alright, uh, just watch the screen and you'll see that uh, the hard drive will become available shortly. Okay. Alright, it's starting to come on. Alright, click on places. Notice it's not there right now. Let's see, I think everything's on here. Yeah, it's it's on there. Let's see, places. There it is, 38 gigabyte file system. Okay, we'll click on it, and as you can see, it actually loads, and you can see all of my files in here and everything, and uh, remember, if you want to go and get these files off of here, you can try your luck first, we're using a live disk, I was in such a panic, you know, I just went ahead and, and uh, you know, since I, I did try the live disk, but I didn't think about using the Gpart until later, so you may get lucky and, and try this uh, with a live disk. So, you know, maybe don't go through as much trouble as I did, but I could not get it to mount uh, in a in a live, with a live distro, but that's that's okay. It's just because I panicked and went ahead and pulled it out and reloaded the OS on another hard drive I had and everything. So, but anyway, let me show you what I did. Okay. Those of you that are not familiar with Gparted, you'll be just like me. I was totally unfamiliar with it but I'll show you where uh, it's located at once you install it from the uh, from the software center. Under administration you'll see Gparted. Okay, I'm going to click on it. It's going to ask me for my password. I'm going to type in my password and it'll pull up and you'll see the different hard drives that are available. Okay, and notice that I have two here. I have device SDA and device SDB. Now, SDA is for your hard drive that your operating system is currently on. So this one right here is for the freshly installed operating system that I'm using on the new hard drive that I put in. Well, new to me hard drive. The small 40 gig one. Okay. Now, uh, the SDB uh, is the secondary hard drive. Okay. And this is the one that would not boot, but it would show up in Gparted, so I thought I had a chance, which, <laughs> which is a big, you know, a big relief. Now, the one thing that I did was I came down here and I highlighted the ext4 
Okay, I guess you call that uh, extension four. I highlighted it, I right clicked, and then I went down here and clicked on uh, check. And what it did is it checked the drive, checked that sector, and it it fixed it supposedly and everything. But I haven't had any issues with it, so just letting you know, I, I haven't had any problems. So you know, it fixed it. Now I have not stuck it back into the uh, computer to see if it does boot up like it's supposed to. I was just tickled to death to be able to get my files back off of it, but it may boot normally now. I just haven't tried it yet. Okay, but uh, if you don't want to come down here and click on the stuff you can go back up here and click and right click and say check but notice that I cannot uh, I cannot click check here you know but anyway um, the other thing I guess if you want to you can unmount it because uh, it does say to mount and to unmount so we'll say unmount anyway the device is totally unmounted and I can right click on it and now I can click check and uh, all you do is you just click check and notice it puts a little message down here that it's ready to check and repair the system so I'm just going to click on uh, apply all these operations are you sure you want to do this I say apply it and it runs through here it, it does the check and uh, lo and behold you'll be able to uh, actually use this thing okay so but you know, I, I was tickled to death when it worked. I was like, I can get my files. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, once again, you know, very easily to retrieve your files off of uh, your Linux version that your, uh, well, your Linux operating system, mine's Ubuntu. That's just the one that I like. But, yeah. I mean, it's this simple. Yeah, once you figure out what you need to do to get it fixed. But there are other options that you can, uh, use but this is the one that I got lucky with and you know but anyway I just thought I'd at least share this with everyone those of you that were having problems you know like me you know you, your system crashed and you gotta have your uh, you know you gotta have your uh, files and stuff so but anyway I hope that uh, this was helpful informative maybe uh, if not you know I um, if it doesn't help you, I'm sorry, but it did help me. All right. Well, everyone have a good day. And, you know, like I said, this is only like the second thing I've ever done with Ubuntu showing people. So I hope someone else can actually use this. All right, guys.